So your child asks you a faith-based question that you don't really have an answer for. What do you do? Mom. Yeah. What's the saint? Um, let's ask your CCD teacher next week. Okay. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Why do we have to go to church? Because that's just what we do on Sundays. But why? Because that's just the way it is. Maybe a better question is, what should we do? When a child asks you a faith-based question that you don't have a good answer for, there are three things that I want to go over that we can do as parents to make sure that we are doing our part in educating our children. Now, keep in mind that faith education begins at home. It should begin at home, and it should begin at an early age. So it's never too early to start talking to your kids and actually answering these questions that they have. Um, when they have a question, it means they're interested and they truly want an answer. So what we can do are three things. One is acknowledge your child and their question. Two, educate yourself. And three, give them a good, solid Catholic answer. So let's start with number one, acknowledge your child. So all that means is tell them that you heard them, let them know it's a great question, and don't be embarrassed to tell them that you don't have an answer. It's okay, we're all human. And the reality is that the Catholic faith is so deep, so rich, and there's always something to learn that you'll probably never know everything. So don't be embarrassed to say, I don't know the answer, let me get back to you. That's okay. But we need to remember to actually follow through. Okay, next let's talk about number two. Number two is educate yourself. Educate yourself just means do some research. And it really is pretty simple to do this, especially now that we have so much available to us. We have YouTube, we have online, web, so much available. And then of course our Bible, our catechism. Um, there's just so many sources to look at. So the first thing that you have to have, um, if you don't have a hard copy, that's okay because there are some really good ones online and I can link a couple below, is your this is the Word of God. This is Scripture. This is very important. <laughs> it's so important for us to have a Bible. Like I said, if you don't have a hard copy, it's okay. Just make sure that you're looking at a Catholic Bible online. Um, keep in mind, kind of side note, that all Bibles are not equal. Um, the Catholic Bible does have more books than a typical uh, Catholic, uh, Christian or Protestant Christian Bible um, because during the Reformation, some of the books were taken out. So the Catholic Bible will have a couple more books. So just make sure you're looking at a Catholic Bible. This one is the Holy Bible Great Adventure and it's from Ascension Presents and I absolutely love it. I can, if you guys wanna know more about this and like look inside and stuff, let me know. I can do a short video on my Bible and why I love it but that's another note. Um, another great thing to have is the catechism, the Catholic catechism. Um, and there's so many different ones. Again, I usually will look mine up online because I don't carry that book around with me, um, but you can find, again, I'll link the link below of where I go to look at the catechism. And Catholics all around the world believe the same thing. So when you are looking for an answer for your child, make sure it's not an opinion answer. Um, if it's a faith-based question, our goal to raise Catholic young men and women is to make sure that we're giving them a good Catholic answer. Don't give an opinion. If you don't know or you're not sure, look it up. Look up what the Catholic faith says about a certain topic and that's the answer that we need to inform our child about or give our child. Um, if you 
are confused and don't completely understand what you're reading on that topic, keep researching. There are so many great, great things that you can look up. YouTube, my two favorite go-tos is going to be Dr. Brant Petrie. He is amazing at um, understanding the lingo of the Bible and how it would have, what it would have meant to first um, Christians. So he has an awesome way of explaining and describing that and it makes it really easy to understand. So I will put his link below um, and he's with Catholic Productions. Um, and then there is Father Mike Smith with Ascension Presents and Ascension Presents also has a bunch of other great um, shows or speakers and they can also answer a lot of these questions. Um, he ha he's been very energetic, very passionate and so he's fun to watch and his videos are good length. Um, so they're not overwhelming. So I'll link his below too, just because he's another one of my favorites. But there are so many um, apologetics, like let's see, Patrick Madrid, and there's a couple others that you can search as well. But just make sure that they're good, solid Catholic answers. Okay. Um, so that is number two. Educate yourself. Oh, and if you have a second to research with your child, if they're old enough, teach it together. It'll be good for both of you to kind of understand and learn this together, and it's kind of fun. So that's number two. And the last thing is number three. Give your child an answer. Why is it so important for us to be answering our children and not just brushing it off and hoping that eventually they'll learn? This is why. Because when our children ask questions and they're genuinely interested in something, it's important to answer them right then and there. Eventually, if we don't answer them and we don't give them good, fair answers that make sense to them, eventually they may stop asking questions. And we don't want that because questions are great. Kids come up with the most awesome thought-provoking questions and it's so important for us to really take them seriously because one day we're gonna hope they had an interest in their faith and really it starts when they're little and it starts at home. So as parents, as grandparents, as godparents, we have the responsibility to make sure that we are educating them, that we are teaching them and taking the moments when they have questions to answer. Now let's say you had to do some research and it took you a day or two to answer their question. Go back to them and say, hey, you remember when you asked me X, Y, Z, I have an answer for you. And you will be so surprised at how excited they get that you have an answer. I've done this with my son where he asks a question and I don't have an answer. And then a day later I say, hey, I researched your question and I have an answer. Are you ready to hear it? And he gets so excited that I remembered. Um, so little things like this make such a big impact and a difference in a child as they're growing up in their faith. And it's so important, again, as parents, that we take on that responsibility because we need to step it up. We really do as Catholics. I feel that a lot of us had a lot of the same answers growing up and it's just because that's what Catholics do, because you have to, because we have to have faith, because it's always the same answer and it's not fulfilling. And then children will eventually start asking questions, not to you, but to others. And who knows who's going to give them an answer? Who knows if it's a Catholic answer? And more than likely, they're going to start getting mixed answers and it'll confuse their upbringing in the Catholic faith. So please take the time to acknowledge your child, to educate yourself and them, and to give them a good, solid Catholic answer. If you have any questions that you would like for me to try to tackle and address, put them below and I will do my best to get these videos out to you guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed and that it's not so intimidating when we get a question from a child that we don't have an answer to. Remember, you're human, we all are, and it's okay to say, let me find out. Okay, so before I go, I'd like to close with a quick prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we ask that you please enlighten us, that you open up our hearts and our minds to receive your truth and to understand and know you. We ask that you give us the graces that we need, discernment and wisdom, so that we can teach our children and fulfill our obligation as parents. We thank you and we trust you and we love you. Mama Mary, as always, please guide us to your Son and protect us under your mantle. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
I hope you guys have an excellent day and I will see you next time. Bye. Next, let's talk about number two, educate yourself. Number two just means, <laughs> number two. Oh, hey, Mom. Yeah. Why do we have to go to church? Um, because that's just what we do on Sundays. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! Mom. Yeah. Why do we have to go to church? Ah! Hey, Mom. What the?